Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. We've been following along with the astronauts who are going to fly the next shuttle mission to the International Space Station. What you are about to see is the crew practicing for their mission, the team that is responsible for training them, and get a sense of what it's like to fly the shuttle. This is SCS 130 behind the scenes. Hold it. Yeah. Terry Birch. Howdy. What are you doing on? in here? Aren't you supposed to be in a simulator? We are. Are you the guy uh, setting the mouse up? Yeah. They're letting yeah. you push the big red button? Ma right. Making malfunctions for my uh -huh. crewmates. All right. <laughs> now we're going over all of our Node 3 activation procedures. Oh, my goodness. Yes, there's a lot. This is a nine hour long procedure we're going over right now. Wow. Yes. You get paid a little overtime, maybe. For that. <laughs> yes. Well, for the last hour. The first aid is regular. The first aid, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. See so how far you try to claim it, see what happens. <laughs> Now, once they launch, your job is pretty much done. Is that right for the other um, or do you have a role during the mission as well? In theory, our only role during the mission is to be on call if there's a real-time problem that they need a simulator called up for. All right. So if they're trying to make a decision on orbit or they want to know how something's going to, they're going to do something they didn't expect, they want to know how it's going to go, yeah. we're on call to pull up the simulator if they want to check it. All right. Other than that, most of these guys will do flight following because you, you work so many months training yeah, the mission, yeah. you kind of want to see how it goes, see what you guys <laughs> see do. See how they do, yeah. Um, and we also use it as a time to teach new instructors. I mean, all these guys, we have to simulate real-time operations, and the best way to do that is to actually watch it happen, right. especially as you're bringing new instructors in. So this team will be doing flight following during the missions. And as you can imagine, certain people come in at certain times. Motion control guys love docking. Mm -hmm. But EVA day, robotics, no, they don't care so much. Yeah. But all the robo guys come in for that. Right. So that's okay. kind of what we do once you, once you guys get going. So what's going on here? Can I interject with you guys? I'm going to break your concentration. You guys, you, we, so we just saw Zambo and Steve over in the sim on the shuttle side. You guys are here, on the, you're, you're pretending like you're spacewalking. Yeah. Ours are we can't pretend that you're spacewalking. So what are you doing to try to, because uh, the whole team needs to pretend like you're spacewalking. So order, go ahead. In order to help the whole team pretend that we are spacewalking, yeah. we actually, I don't know if uh, at one of these days you'll swing by the NBL where we'll we go through all, bar, this, uh, all yeah. this training. So what we're doing is actually watching a videotape of ourselves, actually a DVD of ourselves on our laptops so we can see the motions that we go through out at the training facility underwater. We play that back to make sure we don't get ahead or behind of ourselves uh, when the folks are listening to what we would say as we actually go off and do these tasks. And so over in the shuttle, like you said, you talk to uh, George and you talk to Steve and they're pretending like they're also seeing us out the window and, and things like that. They don't have videotapes of themselves sitting at a chair like we have videotapes of ourselves uh, sitting at our, our, our work location underneath the, the big truss that's sitting in the bottom of the swimming pool out there. Right. So. All right. And Nick. Yes. You're doing the same. You've got your headset on. And I'm watching a different video. This is video of me, because we have two separate cameras when we do this in the MBL. Yeah. So I'm watching my video. It uh, helps keep things realistic. And also, as Bob said, it helps pace us to make sure we do right. things right. So I'm about to make a, make a call here. All right. And uh, if we wait too long between making yeah. calls over to uh, Steve, he thinks that we our comm system, our communications is broken, and so he needs right. to start working a failure for how we to get us new radio. We don't want to get him excited. We don't want to get him so excited. Steve, I have that uh, M2 jumper connected to the fish trainer, and I'm ready for printing ops. Okay. Make sure the booty's off so that you can inspect both sides. And the booty's off, and I'm expect, inspecting both sides. So both sides are free of fault, damage, and uh, anomalous conditions, Steve. On the female QD, check that the button is up, the locking collar is locked. On the female, the button is up, and the locking collar is locked. Right now we're also talking check about... forward white band not visible. Quick disconnects. And the forward white band is not visible, Steve. And there's this whole Make series QD, of things we have to go through to make sure they're done perfectly. Now visible. Okay, I've made the QD to the venting tool. The forward white band is now visible. Okay, two handers, snap back to. This is where we snap back the collar and make sure right. that we don't have what's called female interlock repeat. Okay, snap back test complete. The forward white band is again visible. And a pull test and a visual gap test. Pull test is complete and a visual gap test is complete. Lock the color unlocked. Okay, Steve, I'm unlocking the locking collar. Okay, now we'll vent it. 
You press the button, push the barrel forward, then check the half white band it is visible and the button has popped up. Okay, Steve, I'm throwing the barrel. The valve is now open, half white band visible, and the button is up. We try and keep the pace of these things so that they... Uh, Copy and Bob, uh, after you hit uh, like flight -like pace. the uh, year end of uh, line two <coughs> on your fish stringer on note three, then we'll see you back at the midpoint uh, to uh, tie down line two. Say your name for the camera so the uh, PAO <laughs> people know who you are. Yeah, I'm Alan Alexander. I'm David Mastracchio. Gregory Sparkman. All right, so now we got that out of the way. What are you guys doing today? Uh, well, uh, David is uh, going to get trained. Uh, he was. He's already trained. He, knows what he, he's doing, he, he does know what he's doing, uh, uh, okay. but he was gone for about a year. What do you mean? This so, worries me. He says he's going to get trained. How many times are you my safety diver? <laughs> a lot. Like, I'm responsible for my life down there as a diver, and yeah. now I just point out he's not. Now you're going to train him. <laughs> we're going to retrain him. We're going to retrain him. All right, okay. Uh, David was gone, for about, he's gone for about a year. He's gone for about a year. He's gone, all right. So, and everything has to be redone. All right. So, because of the, the, the time lapse, everything oh, has I, to be I, redone. Oh, that's right. you got to start from scratch. Pretty much. So, don't, he shouldn't take any offense. No, no, Even no. though, if you're Jacques Cousteau, <laughs> didn't Jacques Cousteau have to go through the he would have to. Here? He would have to redo it, yeah. Greg told me that one time that Jacques Cousteau wanted to, uh, well, one of his sons yeah. wanted to dive in a tank, yeah. and, he made this, and he made him go through the dive checkout. Yeah, so yeah. So, you want to make sure everybody's safe. But your dive checkout is much different than a guest. You gotta look at what you're doing. Yeah. All right, so, so you're gonna train him, but you're also gonna be doing other stuff with the crew too. Right? Correct. So we're, yeah. we'll be we'll be the safety diver supporting the crew today. So if All anything right. goes wrong, uh, we'll be there to assist. Okay. Um, as well as just during the run, if things need uh, 1G support, or anything like right. that. 1G being if, so, if something's too heavy because you're in one gra even you're in the water, you're in one gravity. Right. You'll give right. it. You know, you'll, uh, you'll give it a little. The high fi item, the, yeah, but the high fi items that we have right. don't float, right. so they have to uh, get some support. Right. It'll help because you can get hurt actually trying to pick up that Most stuff definitely. in the suit. Most so definitely. Heavy. Okay. Give right. the subject a way out. You That's the, way out. an okay. important part of it. Is yeah. Giving the way out and maintaining the way out throughout the day. Yeah. Howdy. Howdy. Are we ready to put this suit on? Pardon? Are we ready? Yes, we are. Okay. So Bob's getting his pants on first. His pants He'll be floating in space when he shows up. And uh, the other guy's on that car will be helpful. He's going to be in space with him. So they'll help each other get in. He's going to the air. The little trim it's going to be a George Zamka and uh, Jeff Williams, who's living on the space station right now. We might get uh, TJ Creamer's help for our second and third uh, spacewalks instead of Jeff. But you should take some good video of this because everybody makes their own special face when they're when they're wedging themselves into these boots. We compared those mics. Collected up all the pink faces that people make when they're. Oh, that's a good idea. We're <laughs> gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. do. Okay, that seems uh, pretty good. Uh -huh. And now it's like a two-person job yeah. to get a guy like me off. Now the in space, this will be easy. You just flow right up. <laughs> yeah. That part will be. Thank you, Helen. Bob's already done three spacewalks already. I did three spacewalks on my last flight, and this one should be, this flight should be three more spacewalks. Jeez. That's a lot of spacewalks. That's a lot of spacewalks, but none of mine have been as long as uh, either of yours, so. Yeah, but you, we're going to have to write the book on these next three. You never know, maybe you can. It could be a really long spacewalk, but. Well, Bob, I don't know, I wouldn't encourage it because I thought I was going to get paid a little overtime. But there is no overtime and there's no space. overtime. No. You get this, you might as well come in on time then. Or even early, Yeah, get done early know, is probably yeah, good. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I'm glad you told me about the no yeah, overtime see, thing. Right. That was my retirement. Right, I was going to fill out my time card, and they said, no, you can't do that. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. No. You didn't grimace very much. I'm sorry, I'll make more faces next week. So I don't want to take up too much of your time, but today is your birthday. It is. Is that right? Is his birthday? Yes, it is. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, You're on camera, Linda. Smile. You're, okay, good. So, uh, and you said you, you turned you turned one year older than Jim Dutton, so we have to ask him his age. Yes. Another astronaut. That's right. To find out how old you are. That's right. Well, what did you get? Did you get some cards? Can you show us what you I, got for your I birthday? I got some cards. Very nice cards from my train team and my right. crew. 
And how are they doing, by the way, ladies? Outstanding. They're good? Excellent. All right. See, but you're used to training us on 125, so your expectations are pretty low. <laughs> so these guys, I'm sure, are, I know they're better than us to begin with, so they must be looking like real superstars. Better looking. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, so what'd you get? So I got this card. Blonde, yeah. Our training lead, Army right. Blonde, he drew that for me. It was very nice. Drew, and that's a television. Right. A t and what's the significance of that? You like watching TV? I do. You do, but what else? TV. You guys cutting out? Those are my okay. initials. Those are your initials. So TV is what everybody calls TV. you. All right. It is. All right. Is that what everyone calls you? Not I everyone. just call you Terry. Yes. All right. Okay. And you have other nicknames too. Uh, I got a lot of. Them. All right. Okay. But TV. All right. TV. So that's for your initials. Yes. Okay. What else did you get? Uh, I got presents last night. From you my did? Family. Anything good? I got a power drill, electric uh, cordless <laughs> drill. Oh I've been man, asking cool. for that for years. I finally right. got one. Finally. I got a lacrosse stick. You did? Yeah, my son wants to play lacrosse, so. So he got you the stick? I got a lacrosse stick from That's birthday. pretty awesome. Do you ever yeah. play lacrosse before? You're from Baltimore, aren't you? I played in high school and I played a little bit at the Air Force Academy. Okay, wow. Yeah. Great. And is your son playing as well? He's just in the backyard. We're just on the ball. That's all you so need, though. You I got my old high school lacrosse stick and oh my all the leather fell out of it and stuff. So they got you a new one. So I got a new present. Some great, great presents. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Very so cool. you got you got cards and a nice little video to celebrate your birthday, I and did. you got a sim. Very cool. And I got an Ascent sim. Had the sim go? It went, it went it went really well. We yeah. Had a good MCC did great today, and yeah, we uh, got through all four runs, survived, all right. so it was good. All right, very good. So things are good. Life's good. You're enjoying yourself. Life's good. All right. Life, well, stay we, like this. We appreciate you intruding on your uh, on your birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. All right. Thanks. See you, man. Awesome.